What's up guys, we are back. Finally, it's better late than never. Procrastination is a mother, okay? This is real life. We're not pretending to be anything here. Procrast I could write a book on procrastination, but nevertheless, we are back. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the difference between coaching and mentoring. So many people have the wrong idea about what coaching is and what mentoring is. A lot of people actually think it's the same thing. And this is like a little thing that bothers me a little bit. So I wanted to explain to you guys the biggest differences between coaching and mentoring. And they're both extremely valuable, by the way, okay? So coaching, first of all, you know, the challenge with coaching is it's an unregulated industry. A lot of people call themselves coaches. They think, oh, I'm a coach. They just decide to be a coach. But there is actually a professional modality of coaching, okay? So coaching is a specific style um, that's different than mentoring. It's different than consulting, okay? Coaching is its own thing. And a lot of people don't know what it is really, and they just think, I'm just gonna get some guidance, okay? Um, and that's okay, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. There are people who can bring value, but I think the people who are teaching you based on their experience, that's definitely more mentoring. Okay, so coaching is a modality around asking questions, asking the right questions. To be honest, everything that we are seeking, you know, the answers are actually within us. 99% of the things, challenges, problems we have are things that we can solve within we have the answers, but we can't find them because we are thinking in the same patterns all day long. Every day we have the same patterns. Even today when you woke up, you did the same things. You check your phone, you check the same apps first, you brush your teeth in the same way, you know, you get your coffee from the same place or make it in the same way. You're doing the same thing over and over. Your process of thinking is, is habitualized, okay? Because your brain doesn't really care if you're happy, it just wants to save energy. It's all about survival. So habits are created because they're like shortcuts, they're comfort, they're like paths of comfort, okay? The least resistance, that's what habits are. So our thoughts are very much programmed, routined every single day. So it's very difficult for us to find new answers. Okay, so we don't even ask ourselves the right questions because we don't even know what's possible or we don't even know what questions to ask. Also, we, could, we can talk to friends and family, but gener generally they wanna tell us what's best for us from their perspective. Okay, they love us, they care about us, so they wanna you know, tell us what they think will be best for ourselves. The truth is nobody knows what's best for you, only you. You are the only one who knows what's best for you. So getting advice, especially about big life decisions from friends and family, it's good to get comfort, it's good to get support, but actually getting clarity, getting objective, unbiased feedback is very difficult, almost impossible from friends and family. And you can probably think of some experiences in your life where you've gotten advice from friends or family, maybe recently, maybe in the past, and you know it hasn't worked out the best or it wasn't the best advice and maybe you followed it or maybe you didn't and you're happy you didn't okay so i'm sure you're thinking of those right now a coach is somebody who come in completely objective completely unbiased giving you real-time feedback based on what you're bringing to the table so when you sit down with a coach okay in a coaching session there's very much a, a structure where the coach will bring out the information that you need to get out of you. They will ask you a certain amount of questions, a certain type of questions going in a certain direction that's gonna help you unravel what's inside. It's gonna help, the way I like to describe it, coaching is like shining a light where there's only darkness for you at the moment. Okay, so it's about shining lights, showing you, giving you the key to unlock the door, that you, well, showing you where the key is, I would say, because you have the key. And that's what's so powerful about coaching. That's why I love coaching. And I became a professional coach. I think it was 2014 now. So it's over six years ago. And I love that. It's all about asking the right questions and listening and really bringing the best out of you. Just giving you that active, real-time, live feedback based on that present moment, not on your past. Because again, when you talk to friends and family, everything is based from their perspective on knowing you for so many years. A coach is coming in, even if, they, if you know the coach, it's coming in with someone that's, you know, pre it's present focused, present moment focused. So there's no history, there's no legacy, there's no something from the residue from the past affecting the, what's coming out in the coaching session. And that's really powerful for you. But it doesn't just stop there, okay? Uh, a coach will ask you the right questions and listen, which is fantastic, but then they bring you very much into the present to create an action plan going forward. Okay, so a coach will, every session, leave the session with an action plan moving you towards your goal. 
So at the, the goal of a coaching session is to figure out, you know, where you're at, what's the current reality of where you are, what are what's the challenges you're facing, and where do you want to go? What is your vision? What is your goals? Where do you want to go? And then putting a strategy in place every single day to execute on. So that's kind of the second most important and unique thing about coaching is it's, it doesn't dwell in the past. A lot of counseling and things like this will stay in the past. Okay, coaching will use the past as a school, bring you back to the present moment, and then connect you with your goal going forward of what you want to achieve. From there then, the third part of coaching, probably one of the most important parts, is the accountability. Because now you have another session next week, you have to do the things you said you were going to do. You know, there's so many dreams unfulfilled, so many lives not lived to the potential because people don't do what they say they're going to do. Okay, we get distracted, we find excuses, we feel sorry for ourselves, we don't, we're not in a good mood, and we're all guilty of this, all of us, even us coaches, same thing. That's why coaches have coaches, okay, because it's a normal human condition. When you have a coach, they will hold you accountable. They will hold you accountable, so that next session, did you do what you, say you said you were going to do? So there's progress being made every single week. Can you imagine that? Think you will actually make more gains in three, four, five, six weeks with a coach than you could possibly do in six months by yourself. Because number one, you're finding truth, you're finding your answers, you're getting clarity okay, from those questions, you're getting new information. With new information, you can make new choices. With new choices, then you have new behaviors. New behaviors, you create new habits, and with new habits, you have new results. Right? That's what's so powerful about coaching is that we're bringing you new information. So immediately you're in a different direction than you'd be if you went alone. But then with the action plan, with the strategy, you have steps that you can take every single day. You, have, you know what, you're, they're broken down simple steps that you can take every day. And then you're being checked on before, during that time and then before the next session, you have to have it done. So again, you make giant leaps with coaching that you wouldn't make by yourself. If you would, you wouldn't, you'd be there already, okay? So coaching is very, very powerful. Now, mentoring is slightly different. Mentoring actually comes, there's a, a myth about this, you know, the Greek army when they're going off to war, you know, the general said to this guy, stay behind and teach the children everything you know. And his name was Mentor, okay? So that's where it came from. Teach the kids everything you know. Now, there's a hint in there. Mentoring is limited because I can only teach you what I know. So a mentor is someone who's actually teaching you, mentoring you on areas of expertise that they have. So for example, I could mentor you on communication skills, how to be a better speaker, how to change your mindset, how to think. I could mentor you on strategies to change your thinking, okay? How to think in a way that serves you, how to speak in a way that serves you, how to create a better vision for your life, uh, leadership skills, how to lead your own life, how to be a team leader, how to network, different business and entrepreneur skills, sales skills. Okay, I could mentor you on all of those things because they are my areas of expertise. Okay, but maybe you are, you know, you're on YouTube or you're someone who's a makeup artist or, you know, I can't mentor you on those things because they're your areas of expertise. But I can coach you in those areas to bring your expertise to a higher level. You see, so coaching can be applied to all aspects because it, again, how I've explained it, I'm bringing your truth out, bringing your goals out, putting a strategy for you, and then holding you accountable. So coaching raises your level of expertise. Mentoring is when I'm teaching you something specific that I'm an expert on, but it's limited because everything we know is limited, right? We only know what we know. So I always say you have to know what you know, but you have to know what you don't know. So when I mentor people, there are people who want to improve their you know, ability as a speaker. They want to, you know, learn how to be a better leader. How can I sell myself better? How can I close more deals? How can I influence my mind so I feel better about myself, more confidence, better self-esteem? How can I find, you know, what I'm really good at, okay? So I can mentor you in all these things, but I can also coach you in your area of expertise. So you have, you know, it doesn't matter what job or career you're in, we can help you change job. We can help you get the promotion. We can help you increase your sales, bring your business up to a new level. You know, coaching can be applied to anything. You want to change relationship. Maybe you're not happy in a relationship. Maybe you want a new relationship. Maybe you want to leave country, leave, move your house. Coaching can be applied to all aspects. And I guess I suppose that's what makes me a bit unique in the sense I have a lot of expertise as a mentor, okay, because I've been speaking and coaching and mentoring 
for over 10 years all over the world. But then I have that coaching knowledge and coaching experience to bring the best out of you also. So when you bring coaching and mentoring together, it's very powerful. So that's a quick video, guys, to explain the difference between coaching and mentoring. If this is new to you, if you learned something today, let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you learned something. If you have any questions about coaching or mentoring, and you can send me a DM. Um, I would love to, to hear from you guys. If you, have you ever tried coaching before? Let me know. Have you ever had a coach? Have you ever had a mentor? How was your experience? I'd love to hear back about that. So that's today's video, guys. Stay tuned. Keep an eye out because there will be a special coaching and mentoring offer, offer I'm doing a very, very soon. And it's something that you won't be able to, to say no to because it's incredible. You will want to say yes to this because now that you know what coaching and mentoring is, you can apply it to your life. Now, a lot of people don't do it because they don't know what it is, right? People think coaching is something you have once you're successful. No, coaching is the secret to becoming successful. That's the difference. All successful people have coaches and mentors before they're successful. So I'm going to have a special offer for you guys uh, that you can take advantage of. You can experience coaching for the first time maybe, or if you've had it before, it's now time to take it to a new level. So that's today's video, guys. I hope you got value. Let me know in the comments if you liked it, if you've done coaching before, what's your experience been. If you have any questions, send me a message, and I will see you soon. Peace.